There were so many big publishing releases last year. We didn't get to all of them. So best-selling author Chantelle Gurton joins us this morning with four well-read notables from last year. That's right. So we're starting with Celeste Ng, and this is Our Missing Heart. So many people, I think, know um, Celeste for um, Little Fires Everywhere, which was a great book and then also a great series. Yeah, so good. So this is her new one, and it's set in the idea that the main character is a 12-year-old boy who lives with his father, um, and they are Chinese, and they are in like a regime and so the mother is gone and he gets a cryptic message and sets out to try and figure out where she is and it all kind of unravels on both sides that you you realize that something bigger is going on, right? So this is a really heartbreaking novel, um, but it's kind of the perfect time of year to curl up with this if you hadn't. It's a Reese um, Witherspoon pick, so it may you know end it's up good. being, yeah, <laughs> yes. yes, I know, you can't really go wrong. Prop maybe end up being a movie or a TV series as well, um, but it's a, it's a really good one to just dig into, I think, in this kind of weather. Okay. The next one is another Elizabeth Strout book. And yes. if, if you're familiar with the, her Olive Kittredge um, books, like this is another in the series. And, and, and those her writing is so good, you don't have to read them all in order. No, you don't. And so this one is about Lucy Barton. It's Lucy by the Sea. And this one originally, um, I thought I'm not going to do it because it's a pandemic book. So, you know, the, the books are coming out, the ones that people wrote in the pandemic. But it is so good that you're almost like, why did I like why did I not immediately pick this up so that's why it made my list because Lucy's ex-husband from 20 years ago which made an appearance in her older books but you do not need to read them in order calls and says like I think you should come and stay with me here in Maine for two weeks and he knows that there is a pandemic coming let he's a scientist she thinks yeah two weeks okay fine well uh, doesn't turn out to be two yes. weeks we all know now uh, but it, it really is like the great I think we can we're almost removed enough now that we can look at like that look at isolation and companionship and relationships and all of those things and it I loved it so and much. And you can kind of put yourself in the book and, you and relate to yes. how those characters yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, what's our next one? Okay, the next one is Reasonable Adults and this is by Robin Leffler. This is a Toronto author, her debut novel and this is a really fun book. It's a rom-com, it's self a discovery of this woman who has had a bad breakup and she goes uh, to an adult summer camp only it's going to happen in the winter so things are already not going as planned it takes place in Muskoka so it's really fun like local um, idea and it's an arts and crafts camp but so she thinks like oh that's gonna be so fun like when you're a kid it's not what it sets <laughs> it's, out it's to not be. all paste in no. yarn <laughs> <laughs> so I really loved it for someone like the writing's really great the characters are great I love the setting so it's so that's a really fun one okay and our last one the dead romantics okay this is a great premise this is a ghostwriter for a best-selling romance author so she she is writing the books for this woman and but she's just had a terrible breakup and romance is dead to her then her father dies so she must return to her hometown her parents own a funeral parlor and she sees the ghost of her editor a very handsome man who has not given her ex an extension on the book she's supposed to write so you have to suspend your disbelief a little bit here about what's happening is he the ghost what is the message that has come to her it is so funny uh, I think on like this this week of weather that we've had I'm like this is a perfect <laughs> fun book. These are all great books and, and and I love books that are about the publishing world too. I do because too. It, it gives you a little <laughs> bit of insight into what happens especially if you're like you know if you read a lot of books you want to know like how does a book make it to print or how how do books books yeah. get written. Yeah exactly so yeah so I thought these were ones we hadn't talked about last year didn't make it into any of the lists and these are some fun ones to start the year okay. off. Okay lots of great choices you're going to be back next month as well with more well read and and I still have I think I still have about a dozen books from your segments <laughs> last year that I need to get my to be read pile is huge but always great suggestions so thanks very much for thanks, coming Annette. in.